there's a lot of talent up here in the Adirondacks. Don't let them fool you. I know that there's microbiologists that are working in places here because they want to live up here. And now this, this brewery right now is going to have a lot of different jobs available. Not only just tasting room and brewing and stuff, you know, lab work and other things. Sales, event planning, marketing. My role here is president and founder of Paradox Brewery. I'm with my wife and some investors, and I served in the U.S. Uh, Army. I started out in an engineer battalion, and then I applied to flight school, and I was a pilot for them flying helicopters. When I was stationed in Germany, I used to fly the border between East Germany and West Germany, and I really liked the beer over there. So when we came back, I had a two-year degree, and I needed to finish up two more years, so I went back to college in New Hampshire, and I bumped into another guy I went to flight school with, and he said his father and brother were home brewing. And so I thought, wow, that's a neat way to uh, save some money. And of course it wasn't. Um, it cost us a lot more to make homemade beer than it does to buy it. Spent a fair amount of time doing it, and somebody suggested, hey, why don't you open up a brewery? Generally, breweries will go from like that smaller operation to a more mid-sized operation to something large like this. And we just kind of skipped over that middle part. But a lot of the reason we were able to do that was because of kind of the segments of the market we started targeting back when we had the small brewery. We had that little small place to experiment, to make fun new beers, and uh, we engaged in a contract brewing relationship to get us that volume that we needed. We're able to produce a lot of beer. The building we're in and the property we're on, you know, not with the tank space we currently have, but if we added tanks, we could do up to 50,000 barrels a year here which is a considerable amount. That's enough to make you a serious regional player. The equipment we bought, most of it's German. It is designed to make fantastic world-class lagers. So really what we put most of our specialty effort into is like a healthy mix of like hazy IPAs and pale ales and German style lagers. You don't expect COVID to hit, you know, Two months after you open up your new brewery, production just stopped dead, kind of. People weren't taking orders. Our can sales were decreased, but then increased a little bit over time. People just didn't know what was going on. One thing about COVID did we, we really worked on hard of being a VOSB, a veteran-owned business. And we are certified as a veteran-owned business today. Definitely knowing that you have people there that understand kind of where you're coming from for a veteran can make a make a big difference really in the, in the environment that you work in. Drive, direction, responsibility, um, understanding what you want to do and, and finishing what you have to do. It's just the the kind of prior experience. It's understanding the same language, you know, being able to kind of have that shorthand and just that, you know, shared experience. It's not something that is easy to explain to people. There's a camaraderie that just comes out almost naturally. You were given so much responsibility at a young age. I mean, I was 22 years old, you know, flying between East Germany and West Germany, patrolling the border at 22. There are people that have been serving in Iraq, they're 18 years old, or 19 year old platoon sergeants, you know, there's, they give you responsibility early. Right, we try to promote within. So, you know, the next brewer is probably standing right behind me doing the canning line today. We train from within. Everybody that's behind me is local. All the serving staff up there is local. We have uh, local salespeople, and, and I think we're up to like 31 employees right now. You know, everybody's within, you know, a 30-ish minute radius of the brewery. And yeah, that was one of the big things we wanted to do by putting the brewery up here was not only to be a destination brewery, but also to create local jobs and kind of bolster the local economy. I think people come here because of the views and wanting to be in the Adirondacks. I mean, there's a lot of breweries out there. You're sitting in a warehouse backyard, you know, looking over a, a fence or something. Here, you're looking out over the high peaks. We're getting a lot of great support from the locals, from the towns to the north, the towns to the south. In the wintertime, we're still busy. We're giving them a place to go now. We're private investors here, and we're, we're not doing bad at it, I mean, so I think other businesses might see that and see that there's some good vibes around North Hudson right now.
the A-frame that used to also be part of Frontier Town. There's a new business that just opened up there. So like we're starting to see a little bit of a revival and a little bit of more businesses opening up, you know, right at the foothills of really where the big mountains in the Adirondacks start. You know, you can't get much closer to the Southern Adirondacks than we are. So we're a good like kind of jumping off point into the rest of the Adirondack experience.